Yo, what is up guys? It is Moto Vlog Day, and today's vlog, it's actually kind of an early vlog. It's currently 10.35, and the reason I'm doing such an early Moto Vlog is because if you look at this picture uh, that I just took a little while ago, and you happen to zoom in on it again, just like last time, uh, we're under something called a, reg a red flag warning. What that is, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. It has to do with like wind and fire, I think. And right now, it's a perfect day right now. It is literally perfect. No wind, it's a little chilly. It's like 50 degrees-ish, but you know, it's not too bad. That's why I'm out right now. But later in the day, that warning is gonna pick up. And I, today's usually my filming day. And I obviously can't be filming in those winds. So I decided to stay close to home a little bit. I'm kind of concerned because this truck, if you look at my rearview mirror, has been following me for quite a while before I even turned on the camera. He's been like following me for a while. So hopefully he's not coming to kill me. But I wanted to get out and just stay close to home in case all of a sudden the winds just randomly pick up out of nowhere, right? So I haven't been up lookout in a while, so I'm gonna go up lookout and just, just enjoy lookout. I mean, lookout is just so much fun to like ride, especially in the summertime when you can go a little fast. I'm not even gonna attempt to push it because if I crash on a normal road, you know, it's not that bad. But if I crash on lookout, uh, you know, obviously uh, it won't be a good day. I don't even know if I'm gonna go all the way up to the top because there's a section of lookout uh, that's like constantly in the shade and it will be icy for a long time It's kind of like this where you see it how this hasn't melted yet There's a section further up the mountain where it's like that all the time like it it never melts So I don't even know if I'm gonna go all the way up to the top. I might just chill and go to this pull-off a little bit Oh, that dude's longboard. That's sick, dude. That's rad. I haven't seen many longboarders. The pull-off's just right up here. I'm, I'm probably gonna stop at it and uh, just chill, man. I love just watching. Like, this is right in my backyard, man. It's so much fun to just look. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, just look at shit. These motherfuckers running up this shit, though. Even that mountain biker was looking. This shit's crazy, dude. Who runs this? Yeah, right here, I'm gonna pull off. Ooh, that looks like vomit, kinda. Oh, yo, you guys can't see it. I'll zoom in on it, but right here, there's like a bunch of deer right in front of me. I wonder if you guys can see that. Obviously, it's the GoPro. I'll probably take a phone clip and see if I can get an up-close shot of that. So yeah, here's that phone clip I just took. How many are there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten of them. There's probably more, but dude, how can you not just love this, right? Like, that's disgusting. I really hope that's not fucking vomit. Let's cross. Damn, a lot of trash. Why do. Don't litter people. What are we doing? Ooh, the parking lot down there for that hiking spot's pretty busy, actually. Holy. Oh, one of the deer are looking at me right now. He's got his head perked up over here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. There's people playing softball and baseball. I actually have a vlog, I don't know what video it's from, but uh, I went ball hawking over here, like walking back through the, cause like you can see that field down there. They don't go get their balls after they hit a home run. And I scored a, a, dude, I have a trash bag full of baseballs and softballs. Me and my friend went, it was actually pretty sick. I'd like to go do it now that the season's kind of started back up again. There's fields over here. This is a softball field. There's a baseball field over there right next to the highway. He's already found a bet. Motherfucker. Three for three. He's found a baseball he put in his backpack. He literally just now found this softball. I took a shot. I took one for the team. Oh, 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 here we go, boys. Now I'm on the board with two. Paul update. We came out for Pokemon Go and we came ball shagging. Yeah, and I got... I'm probably gonna... I might as well continue up a little bit further after this Tahoe, I think. That's a new Tahoe goes by. Whoa, did you see that? You could see the cloud cover the sun and it went like... Choo. That was actually pretty satisfying. All right, let's see if my short ass can get over this little fence. 
<laughs> Any cars? I can't tell. Hold on, switching the music. Aw, they're taking a selfie. Why can't that be me? I'm really surprised how not busy it is for a Sunday. Like, I know it's kind of early. I was actually gonna go earlier, but there was a little bit of ice out, and uh, I was watching the F1 race. The first F1 race of the season was just like, not even an hour ago. Of course, if you watch F1, you probably know who won, the motherfucker that seems to win every single race, but. I prefer him over Lewis Hamilton, even though Lewis Hamilton just bought some of uh, the Denver Broncos, my football team, so maybe I should be a Lewis Hamilton fan, but you know, I, I'll go Max for Verstappen. Also, last night, unfortunately, I didn't get to watch it because uh, I'll enter some clips here in a second. Uh, I was playing Call of Duty with one of my friends to like 5 a.m. They released a competitive game mode where you can get ranked and stuff, and we were tearing shit up. We were fucking shit up. I'm stopping at that pull-off on the way back. We were fucking shit up in competitive COD. But uh, I was playing COD with them, and my friend was actually uh, streaming it. So I'll put some, uh, I'll put in a few clips from his stream right here. Oh my god, they need one kill. We need two. I was the last kill. Oh. Damn it, dude. What a game, though. Bro, and I literally had two fucking cups of water. My brother, we had four people on our team the whole time. Are you stupid? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Dude, you fucking suck. <laughs> so bad, bro. <laughs> 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 Bro, the lobby, dude. The lobby, the lobby was just like, was just like, hey, man, fuck you. Dude, I just got chapstick all over my controller. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was in my mouth, because when I use my controller mic, it sounds like dog shit. It really does sound like dog shit. Dude, I literally had double his kills. How could he talk about me like that? Yeah, shout out to Tony. That was actually a fun time watching or being a part of that stream and stuff. I'll show his stream while I'm showing those clips, but you know, it was a lot of fun and uh, you know, I stayed up super late, so I ended up staying awake 24 hours uh, and never slept. So by the time it was fight time, which by the way, the fight lasted literally two minutes, he got, John Jones got kicked, I wanted John Jones by the way, John Jones got kicked in the nuts like seven seconds uh, into the fight and he ended up winning in like two minutes. So it was a really cool fight, but I feel bad for the people that stayed up that late and paid for it for the fight to be over in two minutes. Unless you were a John Jones fan, of course, then that's W, because he won. But uh, yeah, I, I did watch it afterwards, obviously. Uh, the whole fight can basically fit into a TikTok. Look at that shot of Denver. Oh, I love Lookout. It's so much fun. Lookout is so sick, dude. When there's not really cars in your way, it's so much fun, because people from out of state will come here and like, of course, they're taking in the view, which I don't blame them, but a lot of times they're scared. So they'll go like, dude, 10, 15 miles an hour on this road. I think the speed limit's like 25, but especially on like this side, people get so scared with this drop off right here. So they'll just creep and go real slow. And it's like, listen, you know, pull over to take in the view, you know? See, this kickstand scares the shit out of me. Like I've mentioned it before, if I'm not like on a downhill slope, dude, look, my bike is basically standing completely straight up. Like, it's... This kickstand is so scary. Like, I'm actually curious what it would take to, like, knock it over. There's more motorcycles down there. Yeah, I wish this kickstand... Man, this kickstand, it sucks. I love a lot of stuff about this bike. I love it. But that kickstand, dude, I basically have to be on a downhill slope for my bike to be even, like remotely angled like it's it, it's scary is what it is a little i'm just a little wind and it'll fall over don't ask me how i know a tandem bike dude i haven't seen a tandem bike in forever what the fuck dude i i want a tandem bike those have got to be expensive right okay i don't know what this car is doing they almost hit that poor guy running. You, you, you good, Hummer? <laughs> like, oh, there. I actually need to go the same way that they're going. I'm gonna get in front of them though. Now, 
man, I kind of want to go to Walmart while I'm up here, but uh, I'm trying to save a little bit of money uh, because I bought tickets for me and my mom. I'm not going to film it, but uh, I bought tickets for me and my mom to go to uh, the Nuggets game this Wednesday. So I'll put some pictures in of me and her there, maybe some videos, since I I'll be there by the time this video goes out. So enjoy those. So I hope I had a good time. I hope we won. I have no idea because it's in like four days. But uh, yeah, I, and I already know if I go to Walmart, I'm going to spend money. I already know. Oh, look at that little stop sign. Dude, that's sick. Oh my God, the bubbles are back. Oh my God, the bubbles are back. The bubbles. The bubbles. I love bubbles. Bubbles. Ah, I love the bubbles. Oh, a sport bike. It's an Aprilia. That thing's nasty. That thing's fucking disgusting. Okay, so I just got off the highway and I've made an executive decision. I'm out cruising, but since I'm going to be going to the Nuggets game, I might as well stop at Dick's Sporting Goods and see if they have any nice Nuggets stuff, any new Nuggets things. I haven't like, you know, I haven't checked Dick's in a while, so I'm curious. So we're going to make a run to Dick's and see if there's anything good there. I said I was trying not to spend money and I'm like going to Dick's Sporting Goods. One of the most expensive stores you could go to for sports memorabilia and shit. Well, not necessarily. Uh oh. Well, this is gonna be interesting. This light's broke, so I guess we're gonna have to see. Technically, I think it should be my turn now. Yeah, okay. Man, those stress me out. Especially being on a motorcycle. If somebody's not paying attention that it's, you know, broken. Dude, I'm, I'm toast. And now I know from being here last time that they're like in the back over here. Oh, it's so warm in here. Yeah, I see football jerseys. Not what I'm after, though. Nuggets. Okay, I see baseball. Soccer. Let's see. There's a Nuggets sweatshirt. Oh, that's actually a cool Jokic jersey. Where was... What was I looking for here? Oh, yeah, the baseball jerseys. Because they have our... Uh, are they right here? Yeah. Our City Connect jerseys are sick. Not $140 sick, but... I do like them a lot. And the last time I was here looking for a jersey, the NBA store was doing a sale where they were on sale for 50 bucks, and here they're 120. Is that Jamal Murray? Yeah. The only other one I would want is uh, Aaron Gordon. Oh, hold on. That's sick. It's a small. Wait, that is sick, dude. It's the old like rainbow logo. Oh my God, do they have that in my size? I don't see it. Dude, that is actually sick. Carmelo Anthony. How much do they want for an old school Melo jersey? 135 bucks. What about these hats? Beanie? Oh, that's a women's beanie. I don't know what makes a man in a woman's beanie, but I guess 25% off. Blankets? Uh, what? Those aren't blankets. Hello? I almost want a sit-in kayak, to be honest. I really wish you would think that a sports store would have more, like, sports sport memorabilia like or not memorabilia you know sport merchandise right like dude like that store used to have like a whole fishing section like an entire chunk of that store was dedicated to fishing and they took it out and they sell no fishing stuff there whatsoever like wh wh uh why you know what i'm saying like hello oh i hear a harley where is he where is he at there he is neither of them wearing helmets yeah, classic and vests. Those are Harley guys for you. And usually, I'm not. I'm not really a gear snob. I see. I get some motorcycle TikToks of people just riding like in shirts and shit. Like, I'm not a gear snob. I don't give a fuck what you wear. Like, I do not care. I don't care if you ride helmet, no helmet. Like, it's it's your it's your risk. Like, thinking of like saying that they're not wearing helmets. Please don't pull out in front of me, Porsche. Um, like they're not wearing helmets like so many people would be like oh my god what are you doing blah 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 like like shut the fuck up who cares like i've 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 never understood that like it's not 
it's not you riding the motorcycle so what does it what does it matter you know like it's the risk they're taking i'm taking you know it's just let them do them now it should be easier to get over hopefully this is quite a busy red light to break down though like to be honest oh that old car is wicked what the fuck is that wait that thing is sick all right but i think i'm gonna go ahead and call this video here before the wind starts picking up i'm gonna might take my bike out and enjoy, go enjoy like a bicycle ride or something so as always if you guys enjoyed please make sure to leave a like subscribe comment share with a friend and i will see you in the next one later